nostalgic here on Awkward Author. It's May 12th, 2015. Well, actually, it's May 11th, 2015, because I'm filming this the day before, but when you're watching this, it'll be May 12th, 2015, which means it's almost four years to the day that I celebrated the launch of my first book, Popular, with a book launch party at the Clinton Bookshop. Uh, we had that book launch party on Friday the 13th, of 2011. I can't believe that it's been four years ago already. My book actually launched on Mother's Day of 2011, which is weird um, because Mother's Day is always a Sunday, but it happened to be the 8th and Flux does this weird thing where all their books um, launch on the 8th of the month, uh, whatever day of the week that happens to be. So that was my official launch date. But the big party was on Friday the 13th, and it was epic. If you're an author, chances are, hopefully, um, that you'll have other books out there, even if it takes you a really, really long time. Harper Lee, I'm looking at you. So you will have more than one book launch party, but you'll only have one debut book launch party. So you better make sure to make it a good one. I held the launch party for Popular at the Clinton Bookshop, which is an independent bookstore located in Clinton, New Jersey, and uh, you should go there if you ever get the chance because it's awesome. I was living in Clinton at the time, um, so it made perfect sense to have the launch party there. I could have walked there if I wanted to. My parents had lived in Clinton for years and uh, had been regular customers at Clinton Bookshop. And uh, so they were very excited to have my launch party there. You don't have to have a launch party at a bookstore, but it certainly makes it easier because the store can then handle all the sales transactions and can order the book and can work with the publisher. Usually a publisher at least for a launch party, will offer some special deal to the bookstore, whether it's a credit to be used for advertising, um, a discount on an extra discount on book orders, or help in printing uh, posters or other promotional material. That's something to keep in mind, by the way, if you are a self-published author hoping to have a book launch party at a bookstore, know that you should probably be giving them some kind of special deal. Um, if you can't offer a special deal on copies of your book, then you want to work with them on placing ads or give them some sort of, you know, financial incentive because they do get that from a publisher. and. Um, well, it's just nice. Bookstores are nice and they are not made out of money, so any help that you can give them in in doing an event there is, uh, is much appreciated. You can have launch parties at other places, at homes, at libraries, public places, but if you do that and you don't have a bookstore involved in your launch party, you definitely want to deputize someone to be in charge of handling book sales and orders and all that because you're going to be too busy doing other stuff to be worrying about money and and swiping credit cards on your Square Reader or your PayPal Reader or whatever. And if you're holding it someplace like a library or you know some other nonprofit organization, you probably want to make some sort of donation to them, both in terms of your copies of your book, especially if it's a library, but also probably a financial contribution to the organization for them generously allowing you to use their space for your first book launch event. Because this was my first book and because my parents are very generous and very supportive, they helped a lot with the launch of Popular and actually hosted an after party at a restaurant down the road where we had tons of food and wine was served that my parents provided. In fact, if you ask my dad, about the book launch party, he will be sure to tell you all about the party and the food and the wine, because um, that's sort of his thing. Uh, my parents were also very helpful in inviting everyone they knew to the party. So there were a lot of folks there for the book launch, friends of mine, uh, friends of my parents, co-workers, uh, family friends, family, um, just all sorts of great people, supportive people, and I'm just so thankful and grateful to all of them that were able to make it and be there for what was a really special day and a really memorable day for me. If you're going to be having a book launch, you want to invite everyone that you know. I had postcards made up as invitations. These were a pretty inexpensive way of uh, creating an invitation. And what's nice as a postcard is a pretty nice size for including the cover of your book on one side and your information about the party on the other. And you can even mail them just as they are with a postcard stamp which costs a little bit less than um, a regular first class mail stamp. Uh, we did have some refreshments at the bookstore as well for anyone that happened to wander in off the street and wondered what the big giant crowd at the store was. But especially for your first book launch party, most of the people that are there are going to be people that you know, your friends, your family, 
um, all these people that you've invited and want to support you. Then my friend and fellow author Stephen Parrish was giving me some advice about launching my first novel. He, um, he suggested letting everyone I knew uh, know about the first book, which is great advice. Um, I didn't totally follow his advice because uh, Steve did suggest that I email everyone from my past, including uh, ex-boyfriends, about the launch of my first book, and uh, I didn't do that. So use your best judgment and your discretion. With your first book, you're permitted to go a little crazy and shouting about it and getting all excited about it. By the time your second and third are out, people might be getting sick of hearing about you and your books, so you might want to tone it down a little bit. You're probably not going to have as big a book launch party because, you know, it's not quite the same as having your first book come out, which is a really, really exciting and special time. My memories, by the way, of that first night of that popular uh, launch party night are all kind of a bit of a blur. I signed a lot of books that night. Thankfully, my hand was still functioning, I think, the next day. I used to have much neater handwriting, but I think that night ruined me. I mean, now when I scroll my signature, it's very sloppy. I, along with my boyfriend, were the last two people to arrive at the after party because, you know, I had to finish signing books and uh, pack everything up and head down there. But we still got some food and, and got to hang out for... It was perfect weather, by the way, that night. There was, like, a threat of rain in the air, um, but it didn't rain, and the, the after party was outdoors on the terrace at this restaurant, and um, it was just gorgeous. My advice to anyone who is looking at having their first ever book launch party is to have an awesome time, prepare as much as you can, and then enjoy the evening evening or day or whatever it is. Take lots of pictures because it's all going to be a blur to you and you're not going to necessarily remember it. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me along the way, whether it's with this YouTube channel or with the launch of any of my books or or any of the things that I've done out there as I live this crazy, awkward author life. So thank you everyone. Your support really means a lot to me and I'm just so grateful to have you on what has been a fun and exciting and uh, crazy and awkward journey.